Hello, little princess. Hello. Um, you waving? <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, my name's Georgia. I'm a new mum to 11 week old Kalia Ray and I upload content just like this, horsey content, just lifestyle in general and how I am crazy. <laughs> now I've gone for a new hairstyle today. Not sure how I feel about it, but I'm just gonna roll with it. Anyways, as you can see by the title of this video, it's all about nurseries and nursery organization. So I never done a nursery tour video because I'm not gonna lie, I thought it'd be boring. <laughs> um, but after putting a few little snippets of the nursery on a couple of previous YouTube videos and also over on my Instagram, actually people have asked for a nursery organization tour sort of video. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do now, let's go. So guys, this is Kalia's nursery. I absolutely love it. Um, there are some bits in here which aren't actually finished, like the photo frames aren't filled or anything. Um, and I really need to try and get around to doing that. Um, but yeah, so when we were actually pregnant with Kalia, we didn't know what we were having. And so we kind of just didn't actually decorate the room. We kept the wallpaper just how it was um, and just added in like a few little gray items and things to make it a bit more neutral. Um, obviously now she's here and she's a girl. Um, we have actually decided to keep the blue wallpaper because it has got um, like flowers and leaves and stuff all over it and it's a little bit glittery so it's actually quite girly really um, but I absolutely love this room I, I'm literally obsessed with it I come in here all the time so one of the main questions and things that people were sort of like asking about or inquiring um, was about drawer organisation now I am not an organised person whatsoever like um naturally so i have to make things organized for myself so my drawers are organized and laid out as easy as they possibly can be just so it makes it easier for myself and sean um and it looks nice it's just aesthetically pleasing so um i think first we'll start with like her clothes sort of area dresser um it's the big one of the two and i love the organization in them <laughs> makes me happy every time I look at it. So if we start over here, then I absolutely love these little boxes. They're actually from Ikea. They come in a set of six, so you can get these two um, big square boxes. You also get two smaller square boxes and two rectangle boxes, and they're great for any sort of organization. They fit in these drawers really well. Um, these drawers are also from Ikea. They're the Herms, I think. Oh, hello dog. Can you please leave? You're ruining my video, out. Thank you. Anyway, yeah, so I think they're the Herms drawers, Hermes. Um, I will double check because I'm not actually 100% sure, but um, so yeah, inside, inside her top drawer, um, we've got like all her bibs and things. Now it looks like there's a lot of bibs, because there is, um, but she's currently teething. So actually by the end of the time where I actually need to put a washing load on, probably only like one pile left because she's going through like four or five bibs a day because she's teething and they're just getting really wet um and then over here i've got like all her leggings which probably about this many don't actually fit her right now they are um three to six months but the rest of them are all her, like her pj sets um and i just like to keep them in their little sets together just because it makes it so much easier you know you can just grab and go and it's it's all just there so then in the next drawer is like all her sleep suits. Now if you watch my newborn essentials video, you'll know that I love a sleep suit. Um, so she has like four or five of these in different togs um, and I just keep them folded away in there next to her swaddles, which I don't know why I don't put them away really because she, she doesn't like being swaddled. Like I haven't used them since she was about 10 days old, but anyway, they're in there. Um, and then over here are all her muslins. Now this is usually full up and then there's usually also some just stored at the back here. But like I said, she's teething, she's dribbling everywhere. So yeah, most of these are in the wash. But I love folding things this way as you'll see in the other drawers um, because it just makes it easy. Like you can see what you're pulling out and yeah, it looks, it looks very nice. And then in this bottom drawer, it's kind of just like odds and sods. Um, in here is like all her cards from Christmas and from when she was born, um, you know, like her first Christmas cards and stuff. Um, and there's just random stuff in here, really like packing pouches and things like that. 
And then my favorite drawers. So in the top one, again, we've got all of these boxes um, from Ikea and like storage organizers. They're fantastic. I absolutely love them, especially for like, all these little bits. It just makes it easier for everything to have its own compartment. So like over here, I've got all her stockies. Um, and then her shoes, which I mean, she doesn't really wear. The only ones that she really wears are these little cutesy slippers from something a bit different. I'll pop their little link down below, but super cute little slippers. Um, and then over here, I've got like all her tights, um, her little bows and headbands and stuff. And then there are actually some thin sort of hats under there. And then over here are her bubble hats and like, you know, for going outside. And then she's got her outside mittens normal mittens which we don't really use because actually all of the baby grows that we've got do have little fold over mittens so we don't actually really use those um and then just some washcloths and things and then the next drawer now this is aesthetically pleasing <laughs> so like i said i like to fold everything so you can see it all it's all in these ikea little storage compartments so these are her like long sleeved um body suits baby grows what you want to call them and then these are her short sleeved ones. So these I just roll up and then these I fold. So I'll just show you how I do that and you know how actually easy it is. And it just makes it so much easier to see everything. So with the long sleeve sleep suits, I don't know why, but I like to do a button up at the bottom and a button up at the top. I don't know why, you don't have to. I just, I like to do that. And then to actually fold them. So you kind of like fold so it just goes back over the buttons and then pull your arm down and the same with this one so fold so it just covers up like the button line and then fold your arm down and then you want to fold it into fours after this so you just like pull your legs in and then fold it so it's about like a third of the way down and then fold it in half and you've got like your little little pocket pouch thing and then it's super easy just to put them away you just literally like pop them back in your little storage section and yeah i love it because you can just see everything um like a lot of them are sort of like these gray and white colors and if you just fold them up and stack them on top of each other you can't actually tell what you're pulling out so yeah i love this and then her little short sleeved baby grows are super easy as well so you just like fold them into thirds and then fold it in half and roll it up and then it just sits straight back in the little drawer and then the last drawer over this side literally just has some towels in it um it's usually got a dressing gown in there as well but that's actually in the wash at the moment but yeah so yeah that's her big dresser i love how much you can fit in it and i love the fact that it's kind of like quite neutral and it's also it's not baby furniture it's actual human furniture i don't know what to call it but it's actual furniture so it just means that you know when she does start to grow up and stuff we're not going to have to be changing stuff out like she can just keep this it's it's easy and it looks really nice so then next over here is another dresser now we use this single dresser actually as a changing table it's the perfect height it's a perfect size to fit a changing mat on top um the only thing i would change actually is i would get a changing mat that's got the higher sides at the moment it's perfect she can't move and you know it doesn't really matter but when she can start moving a little bit more it would be nice just to have a bit of a higher side um just to you know so she can't roll off so again in these drawers i've got like the ikea um storage boxes and stuff um we've got the uh, little ones that come in a pack of six and then also these ones these are really handy like when you've got little things that you just need to organize and you don't want it all to just be bunged in one big box it just makes it so much easier just to grab and go um so yeah over here we keep loads of nappies um She's actually just moved up a size, so they don't fit quite as well, which is quite annoying, because the size ones fit in really, really nicely. Um, it just looks good, like it doesn't matter. It's still really practical. But yeah, so she just moved up a size nappy and we've just restocked those into there. And then over here, I've got wipes and things. Now these are my favorite wipes, the Pampers Acre Pure. Um, they've got like a handy little clip top. And then, oh, I can show you under the clip top it's got like this little bit that stops loads of wipes coming out when you pull one anyway they're my favorite wipes um and then we've got nappy bags this is kind of like stuff we don't really use like i don't really 
but this is for when we go away, I guess, which we're not going to be going away. Um, I don't really use Cilla Cream much. I'm more of a Panthem sort of person. And this is actually full of the letters that go on her letterboard over there. Anyway, um, and then in this one, we've got all her teething things. So like the um, Ashton and Parsons teething powders. Her little teething mitt, which she doesn't really like, but we've got it anyway. And then like toothbrushes and things. And then in this one is all her sicky stuff, I guess. So a baby thermometer, turn it off. Um, baby thermometer, her little things are like you suck out, you know, the snot and bogeys from her nose, it's nice. Got a couple of those. And then just some nasal drops for when she had a cold. Over here, all her nail items. So like a few nail clippers, some scissors, um, some nail files and things. And then in there is all her hairbrushes and combs. So then moving on to the next drawer. These are kind of just extra storage drawers that I use these for at the moment. So I've got like all of her lotions and potions and um, like, you know, shower stuff, um, more baby powder, baby oil, which I mean, seems like a waste of money really. I haven't had any opportunity to actually even use this at all. But anyway, um, yeah, all her shampoos, shower gels, um, also these cotton pads which again were just a waste of money i haven't used any i know they're open but it's actually just because i keep taking some out to take my makeup off with um but yeah we didn't use any of those like i said these my favorite wipes are actually 99 percent water so you can use those like from day dot so i wouldn't advise getting these because it's it is just a waste of money anyway so that's like all her spare washing stuff and then down here is just extra nappies. So like I can fill up the top drawer or nappy caddies really easily. I can just grab a bunch and go. And the same with wipes. So as you can see, I, I quite like my storage and organization. I love it. Like it's all in my bedrooms. It's all in the hallway dresser. There's literally like little storage compartments absolutely everywhere in the house, just because it makes things so much easier. Um, so then anyway, over here, I've got these little cute, um, bookshelves they're actually not bookshelves they are um oh, what are they called like herb and spice racks um but they work really well as a bookshelf um they're just plastic and i screwed these onto the wood myself um yeah and then put her little books in there and then down here oh that's my skanky outside area but down here um i've got like all of her creams and stuff that i use quite frequently um i don't actually use sort cream that much but the panthem all the time um her child's farm moisturizer this is my fave moisturizer ever so that stays out and then liquid talc so that's just kind of easy it's easy accessible when she's on here and then you know i can just grab things open this drawer grab things i don't know it's just really easy. I love that little setup, and obviously everyone's everyone's me different. And like so many people told me not to get a changing table, but I'm actually really glad that we did because when we live in a bungalow, we use it all the time. Like it's not as if we have to go up and down stairs and stuff. It's just it's so practical and it's so easy, and I just yeah, I love it. So moving on to the wardrobe, obviously we have a wardrobe, um, and then on top there is. Um, storage boxes again from Ikea now they're massive um, and in all of those so I was quite anal about being really really prepared for things so I bought a shed loads of nappies um, I know that people say you shouldn't but I did and luckily the brand that I chose I really really like um, so yeah I brought a shed load of nappies size one size two and size three and obviously she's she's out of size one now we only had one I think it wasn't even a whole pack it was like half a pack left and then yeah so up there but all her size twos and size three nappies. And it's just, it's easy, they're out the way and actually it fits in with the rest of the room because they're white and you just can't reach other up there. So I love that idea. So then actually in the wardrobe, on this like, little single side, I've got like all of her um, coats and onesies and stuff for when we go out. And then down here, I just like to keep my changing bag. I don't really like just leaving it lying around because it just looks messy. So yeah, I chuck that in that little area. And then down here, there's some nappies that actually, I don't like the brand on Kalia. Um, they don't really fit her that great. So I am actually gonna gift those to someone else. So that's why they're in there. And then down here is just like all my 
boxes of things. So like for my LV, there's like a shoe box at the back, um, my baby born um, front carrier, just in case, you know, I want to sell those things or it's just easy just to keep the boxes and then, you know, you can either put them up in the loft or sell them or whatever. But yeah, so I keep all those original boxes down there. I've got mirror. Hello. Um, and some of her clothes. So now lots of people have like the little, um, things that say like zero to three months, three to six, blah, blah, blah. Now I haven't gone with that and I've just gone with like a little bunch of coat hangers. I don't know why, I just did. Anyway, so this is all her zero to three months stuff that fits her right now. Um, so obviously, you know, most of this that she wears, there's some sleep suits and stuff in there that she hasn't worn yet just because she's got so many. I don't want to keep having to open stuff. Um, so yeah, she's that's her zero to three months stuff. And then over here is her three to six month in the middle um, and as you can see a lot of stuff still has its tag on again she's got so many clothes so it's mainly just in case she's not gonna wear things um so yeah that's why the tags are still on most of this stuff and obviously if I take it out and she is gonna wear it then I'm, I'm gonna wash it first but it's just easy just to keep it in there as it is and then over this last little section is like six months and up so some of it's six to nine some of it's 12 to 18 in there and then down here makes me sad <laughs> because this is a box of all her old clothes. Um, there's like that half pack of nappies at the back that doesn't fit her anymore. So this is actually ready now to go in the loft. All her newborn stuff, there's some zero to three stuff in there that just doesn't fit anymore. So yeah, that's, that's a very sad box. It means that she's growing. And then down the bottom is kind of like all just odds and sods again. So like her sleepy head which I mean she does sleep in but not so much anymore um her little bamboo seat and then most of this stuff is actually for her push chair for when she can move up to the next size so as you may have seen already from wandering around the room I love a basket I don't like the look of like a bin or whatever so I use baskets for everything I have this basket here next to my changing table and it's actually oh yeah got dirty nappies in it already so I use that for dirty nappies. So that just literally sits right next to her dresser. Now obviously with it being fabric, I have to take the dirty nappies out every couple of days anyway and give it just a little spruce over and a little spray. And then over here we have another basket. So in here I keep all of her blankets rolled up. Um, now when you take one out, they quite often would all usually fall over. So I actually wrap these and then I just put a little cheapy thin hair tie around them um it just means that they all stay nice and they're just easy just to grab and then over here there's another basket and this just got her dirty washing in it uh, yeah so i do love a basket and then this is her cot now everyone is going to come at me for the bumpers and the the soft toys and stuff in there she's not actually sleeping in here at the moment and the only time that she does come in here is for naps and i do take out her little these um she is on the monitor and i am literally next door and i pop in every five minutes just to make sure she's okay but when she actually does come in here to sleep obviously this is going to come out that needs changing <laughs> um but yeah so that is the setup of it at the moment obviously the bumper and the toys will come out when she comes in here probably next month i'm thinking um but yeah so that's her little cot that's actually from mamas and papas it was a um like wooden effect cot and i took it all apart i sanded it down and i just used um a spray paint and sprayed it all white so it kind of like fits in um and it was much cheaper than going and buying a new one so my last little bit of storage is under her bed it's just wasted space so why not utilize it so like in here if i can open it um we have got oh <laughs> We've got loads of like spare towels that she just hasn't used yet. We got gifted so many towels when she was born. So yeah, there's loads of spare towels in there. And then also her spare bedding. So like some of it is for her cot for in here. And then some of it is for her sleepy head. Um, so that just all stays in this nice little box under her bed. Because I don't know if you're anything like me, but my airing cupboard is in absolute state. And if I was to put her tiny little bed sheets in there, they just they just get, end up getting lost. So it's easier for her to have her own little box in her room. And then the next box has got yet more clothes. <laughs> 
So these are her little outfits. They'll go in like the outfit compartment in her drawers. Um, they're three to six months, so obviously don't fit at the moment. The same with these. These are three to six month onesies. And then a stack of bibs. You can never have too many bibs. And some hats. Um, I'm not, I think my mum gave me this. It was my brother's <laughs> little flat cap. Um, some knitted cardigans and things. These are short sleeved, um, three to six months. And then some coats. Now this is the cutest coat I've ever seen in my life. Look at this, she got it for Christmas. This is super cute. So that is my nursery organization and my little nursery tour for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions about where I got any bits from, then I will try and put everything in the description below of like links of where I got it all from. Um, but if I haven't and there's something that you wanna know about, then do just pop me a message. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. And if you are creating your nursery for your little one, then these organization tips have helped you. If they have, and you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and do make sure you subscribe. I upload twice a week and I hope to see you all again very, very soon. Bye.